Guys, welcome back. You already know it's your boy Joe, aka I do this, aka Coding Face, man. All right, man. We're gonna start breaking down the Netflix website, right? Remember, we did a screenshot. Now we're gonna break it down and see how we could actually build things, you know, section by section, right? So we come in over here. This is the screenshot that we actually did, right? Let's see. It's a little bit too much, uh, but yeah. So pretty much we're gonna break this down. You know, there's a logo, there's a left menu, there's a right menu, there's text, this is uh, like a title, there's a smaller title, there's like a paragraph, this is a button, there's a button, and this uh, section is actually on top of a large image. So basically, what I want to introduce you guys to is something called the box model, right? Pretty much everything is on top of each other. So they're pretty much just layers, right? So let's break this down like this. Let's forget about this section here, which is like the bottom, because in reality, we're going to do that later on, okay? So let's just focus on this sections that we got here. All right, we got Jumbotron and we got the header. So we have the logo, left menu, right menu. All these white boxes are text. And these two buttons are actually, you know, it's two buttons here. And then behind it, there's a section, which with this, we could call this, uh, this section right all right let's bring this up this section all right so remember how this looks all right that's how the website looks we got to break it down we say okay let's see how we could break it down there's a background to it Behind the Netflix logo, there's a background color, which is black. It's like a, a black with an opacity of maybe seven or maybe eight, right? And then we break that down. So we say, okay, we got the logo, left menu, right menu, right? So we're going to start with that, right? So as you can see, this yellow boxes are on top of this div. If you remember what I, I told you guys, inside of here... So like, let's say an example, we wanted to do that header, right? We basically, we start with a div. A div means, you know, it's just creating a box, right? So let's say header. Header. And then we have another section, which is large image All right so let's delete this part large image so this is almost exactly what we have on the image itself it's just pretty much we're breaking it down All right large image section and we got the header All right so inside of the header, then we break it down even more. And we say, okay, inside of the, the header, there's a, a logo. There's, let's say, logo. There's left menu, right menu. All right? Now, we got to put this into sections. So we say, okay, give me a div. Right now, I'm just basically doing a copy and paste, All right? So now I'm copy and pasting the same thing. Right now, all we're learning is just the div tag, which is the simplest tag, because you're always gonna use it constantly. The div is just a divider. It just basically create boxes for you to put things inside of it. So let's say, okay, now you have your div. Let's say in your large image, right? 
which is this right here. You have the large image, then you have a, a div section inside of it. And inside the div section, you have fonts. So like, let's say this is a title. There's a, a small title, there's a paragraph, and there's a smaller title too, right? And then you have two buttons. So let's say for now, let's break it down like this. We have uh, a really small title, which is a header, right? So you have title, small title, small title let's copy this let's say we have h1 so going back to this right h1 is a header and h6 is a header so the smaller the number is the larger the letter becomes and then the higher the the letter is the number is so let's say if it's a six, the smaller the letter becomes. So like let's say an example. You see, small title. And then large title. All right? So this is the first title that we have there. And we look at it, we say, okay. That's a small title, that's a large title. And then there's like a medium title and then there's a paragraph right so we come back here and we say okay large title small title uh, let's say what's in between one to six so let's say we do a h3 and we say medium title. right then we have paragraph which is paragraph now let's say just a bunch of gibberish right nobody cares what it says right it's just a bunch of gibberish for now right so now let's say let's go back to this page right now we're missing two buttons right so let's say now let's create the two buttons. We still inside of this, right? It's inside a section. So let's say uh, div button one, and then let's copy and paste this again. Button two. Oops. All right. Now let's click run. We got logo, left menu, right menu, small title, large title, medium title, a paragraph, button one, button two. And that's pretty much it. So it's that simple. That's how you break down things into boxes. So before you even think about how the images is going to look or anything, you just start breaking it down, just regular text. And you say, okay, inside of the body, I have a header section. And inside of the body, I also have a content section, which is the large image, right? Now, if we wanted to basically identify this, we could say, hey, let's name this by an ID. So this right here are actually parameters, right? So we say, a uh, div tag with an ID of header and then you say this div tag has an ID of large image All right so we have that like that now we just broke it down and now we know exactly what's actually going on we have the header we have the large image right? and then that's about it for now i'll see you in the next video